So we have our monk yes. uh, imported and leveled up. He's named Mawashi Gary, and uh, that is a throwback to my Kawase training days. Uh, my favorite kick, by the way, in case anyone's in the know. A quick rundown of the Kawase uh, for the benefit of those who may not be aware of the monk. The monk fights unarmed and unarmored. That is their specialty. Uh, you can see there are, uh, his uh, melee damage is now equivalent to a 200 swords damage with his fists. And it will go up as he levels up at uh, specific points. Because he can't wear any armor, of course, he needs to have other sources of armor class besides normal dexterity. And the monks have. Um, the ability to gain armor class bonus from the wisdom modifier. And because of that, I level up wisdom because it benefits the armor class and it benefits the monk's special abilities. It makes them harder to assist for enemies. The modifier is not as good as you would want it to be, but it's not as bad as certain people try to make it out to be, uh, in all honesty. But because you gain more from wisdom, than for dexterity or strength for that matter. I prefer to stack wisdom. Skills wise, diplomacy, listen, law, spot, and tumble. Tumble is a skill you use to avoid attacks of opportunity when you move around in melee and amongst has a fair chance to move around quite a bit in melee but he will be gaining feats that makes him immune to those attacks of opportunity anyway but the side benefit is that every 10 natural ranks you have in tumble and that is without dexterity modifier you will gain one armor class and of course him being unarmored any armor class you can gain is beneficial which is also why I gave him log of heroes plus one lock bonus to armor class, the plus one to uh, all saving throws is a doozy. Humans can afford to take that because they get an extra feat and you can only take it at level one. Uh, noticeable features for the monk, key strike lawful. The monk's unarmed attacks count as magic weapons against creatures with damage reduction. At 10th level, the monk's unarmed attacks are also treated as lawful weapons and at 16th level, they count as adamantine weapon, as weapons as well. Something like an iron golem, because it's a big block of iron being animated, has a huge damage resistance against weapons you can imagine trying to smack a piece of iron with your sword. Probably not going to do an awful lot. Um, Adamantine will ignore the damage reduction iron golems have, and at level 16, the monk's fists will do the same. Yeah, they hit hard, by the way. Uh, Flurry of blows, they get extra attacks. Uh, with a negative modifier, and that negative modifier will decrease and disappear. Um, monk armor class bonus, I was alluding to that. Gain additional plus. Um, sorry, monks add their wisdom modifiers to the armor class, and they gain one armor class bonus every five levels. Monk speed. Monks move more quickly than all the classes, and this ability improves with experience. Barbarians have a similar thing, but monks are much quicker than barbarians. Purity of body, monk is immune to all diseases. Uh, wholeness of body, the monk can heal damage equal to twice, twice at their class level once per day. So I better make sure to set his behavior. Um, defend master off. I don't want him running back and forth. So I think that should be it. We just uh, need to set some feats down here. Um, where is it? Of course, you get um, improved knockdown for free, which is always nice. Uh, come for that, then yeah, likely won't need to heal an awful lot. So, the next problem, of course, is going to be to try and find some equipment for him, but uh, we will take them. Uh, the issues as they 
become relevant. So, hasn't got any of the history feeds because it was added after, of course, which is a bit um, annoying. But it's some minor thing. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We got anything for him? We might have, I don't know. I can quickly check. Um, we might be able to buy something at Jakub. I will lead now. Follow. We have final cold assistance. Yes. Protects you against the flu. Sailor shelter. It's against fear. Don't really care about that. Yes. We'll work something out. He's only got an armor class of 20 at the moment. We want to improve that if possible. I but believe so. we achieved what we wanted to achieve. Anyway. Now we should be able to speak to Kelgar Ironfest and see if he's got any task for us. Uh, we'll have to ask you to speak with six merchants, the sun ones that we have north in the winter. That's a main quest kind of thing. We've already spoken to these individuals, haven't we? Yes, we have. Where's the Kobe? My good friend. No, oh, well, I don't know whether he's my good friend or not, but uh, he's a vendor of uh, some description, and uh, a vendor is nice to have. There he is. Selling wizards wares isn't what I normally do, but Highcliff has been sending me the stuff all the same. Cool. Show me what you have for sale. So let's see if we can find Recommend. anything for the monk. Basic all basic business, business of armor plus four. Expensive though, and it takes up the last slot. Uh, which is not ideal. Trying cloak. Nothing here, nothing there. Uh, and any. Let's just get the recipes. Any trinkets of any description? No. Nope. Usables? Nope. Nope. Don't want to use weapons, even though it technically can. It would be silly. You're good. We will find something somewhere. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. Let's go and speak to Calvin and see if he's got something to say now. When we are no longer tied. At the merchant's headquarters, I'm running around in circles. Which is something I said in the introduction to the previous hard thing that I didn't want to do. Cool. Also, keep doing, we're getting a bit more visitors, a little more like a good job for me. But if I don't do, turns out that some servants of the King of Shadows still fighting the war. Can't accept your beaten friends, square. These sh shadow priests are holed up in some ruined cells over here near the me of dead men. Scouts say, said the place is crawling with undead, so you, you might want to stock up on some holy water and such. Good luck. Cool. Um. We'll do that later. Uh, it's not something I want to rush into just yet. Um, that That's the problem about having played ahead. As I am aware of how certain situations unfold and the level of challenge with certain encounters and things like that. I also want to try and avoid being spoilerish for some bizarre reason. There's no point in me sitting here and 
telling you about the main plot, but I still got a good few videos, videos even to go. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if we got enough trade bars to go out up and establish a thingy at um, the wood place. What's it called? Whatever it's called. The stuff that, that produces quite a bit of wood. Let's find out. If we shoot bomb into a random encounter, I will likely keep it in this time to uh, get uh, the monk um, showcased, so to speak. What was it called? It was called um, Thunder 3. Thunder 3, not 3. Fall in. You are likely the most qualified for this, so uh, you lead the way. We'll see what we can bomb into. We need to head to Neville Winter. At one point or another. Monsters banned. You know what, let's take them, see what we can do here. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. Stand still so I can hit you. Let's buy orcs. Let's fight them. And then let us go um and soften them up a bit. Yes. Oh, yes. This is what I intend to cut out because this is what you will be seeing a lot, a lot with the random encounter of things. Your command. But he can go and um, hit stuff. And get himself mauled apparently. Hasn't got the armor class to resist anything right at the moment, so. Come on. Said something about how strong the monk is, and then he starts to uh, first fight by getting mauled. You have to be mindful of his health. Come on. Could, could, you, could you kill that one that's nearly dead? Thank you. I sort of want to be in control of the monk because uh, I want to make sure he uses his uh, sports, special abilities even. Come on. Could you perhaps do me a favor and, um, you know, some just uh, randomly heal the monk? Thank you. That'd be good. You, you, you didn't feel like doing that, despite the fact that I asked you so politely. Did you get your bloody... Oh, she did, I tell you. Hmm. To your weapons, and don't let up! Okay. You did use an improved nothing. See if you can stun him. He resisted it. What a shame. Yeah, well, it was a mess, but it worked. We'll be going back to uh, not having uh, random encounters on display because, uh, yeah. What you just saw was in. That's what I was saying before. What I wanted to not showcase all the time, because that's the only thing you're going to see. Fireballs and my storms and then melee. So.
Ist mir gegen nicht sicher. Fallen. I believe so. Cool. Aha. Why for the experience? Not bad. Anyway, we had to go up to uh, this town thing here. Blue Dragon. Hmm. Hmm. It can wait. Did I walk past the city? This map can be a bit wonky. It's not supposed to be, but uh, uh, I think that blue dragon is going to stick around. It's not going to do anything. Let's see. Um, quite about establishing 100 trade bars and five units of all. Plan the alpha, table turn this way. Or it's a normal price, but uh, we can buy the ore here. We can sell the timber, I suppose. Oh, well, we should have enough space to buy. Five ores. And then construct the trading post. Oh. And then we uh, visit our trading post. Visit the main room. Thank you very much. Because when you establish a trading post, you also get access to whatever yes. goods that uh, I believe so. town may be selling. A specialty stock. So. Uh, let's see what you have in stock. Nothing here. Nothing. Anything special? No. Just roguish things. Oh well. Let's go. Well now. Let us, um, to the caravan. It's on the way to Russell Keep. Establish. Uh, We throw in a bit more money at it? I don't know. Uh, this is not a safe route. We should probably make a uh, note of the description. Crossroad Keep's a sun tree is a somewhat dangerous trip that leads across the unpatrolled plains and north of Crossroad Keep. This route provides a good profit as the lumber from the sun tree is needed to rebuild Crossroad Keep. Let's upgrade it and uh, that should hopefully make it more guarded or stronger or thing, whatever. Something along the lines. You don't need to establish a caravan going two ways. Um, no, let's just leave it at this point. Um, yes. I want you to shoot that much better spot. Apparently your speed is applying to the party. This is a nice little thing. Um, what I was trying to say before I confuse myself is that uh, you don't need to establish caravans both ways. Uh, when you establish the caravan between a place and some place else, you don't need to go to the other place and establish another caravan. We discovered how uh, Never went to city, so we should probably run in and say hi. Sorry about that, I just had to uh, do an editing cut, so let's head into Never Windsor City. As you approach the gates to Never Windsor, you are quickly intercepted by a guard wearing the colors of the city. Hail and well met travelers. Can I get entry into the city? The city is under martial law, but you may purchase a temporary entry pass by donating 200 gold to the defense of the city. Here's the gold. 
Thank you for your generous donation. Welcome to the Women's of Travels. And oh, be aware that if you leave, you will need to purchase another pass. Additionally, due to measures taken during the War of the Shadows, only the Black Lake District is available to non citizens at the present time. Okay. We are in Nibble Winter, as we were told to do, uh, go to even by Sasani. So, where's Mr. Important? Where is he? You see, they try to give some sense of life in this area, so certain NPCs has uh, routines. It's basically at a certain time of day, certain NPCs will be in a certain place, and I'm looking for the guy I need to speak to, first and foremost. Temple of Joaquin is in the in getting a drink or two. I suppose he is off duty at times. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he is even. Well met. Welcome to the moment, so I don't believe I have that we've met. I've met you before, even. Sorry. Law, that uniform with marks you as one of the Neverwinds and Nine, right? Correct, an excellent observation. As well, you know of the city's ways, even changed as it has been of late. My name is Onaval. Lord Nash has chosen me to administer to this section of the city in its time of need. We need to acquire a permanent entry pass. A tall order, may I ask why? Diplomacy, we are representatives of a merchant company from Crossroad Keep. You'd like the honor of doing business with Neverwinter. If you're here for trade, you'd best ally yourself with one of the three merchant cartels in the area. There's only a limited number of permanent passes, and only the cartels have the clearance to distribu distribute them to their merchants. Why give clearance to the merchants? The Neverwinter government has been shorthanded since the war and simply lacks the manpower to approve every individual claim for passes. Since the merchant cartels have been thoroughly investigated, allowing them to distribute parcels at their discretion cuts down on our work and helps us track who has brought the most goods to the city. Doesn't that give them a chance to abuse that power? Not entirely, no. They've been making significant profits from trade with the city. They have little incentive to take actions which would endanger their privileged status. Can you tell me more about the factions? Each one is headquartered within the Temple of Joaquin, Circle of Friends, the Forgotten Lords, and the Faded Winds. I'd tell you more, but I think they prefer to represent themselves. There should be someone to speak to within each office. That is a throwback to uh, The Women Tonight 2, the original campaign, because at one point while you're running the keep, you are uh, approached by an offer to have either of these three the merchant place house things establish a trading post in your keep. Mm, what's the purpose of the merchant cartels? Assisting never with its economic reconstruction, organizing the efforts of very smaller merchant companies under their employer. From time to time they also perform tasks such as providing security to the city or fulfilling export contracts to other towns in the region. Hmm. Why aren't we allowed into the city without a pass? The Shadow War devastated Neverwinter and there's been a need for stability in order to begin rebuilding what was lost. While we rebuild we would pay we must pay close attention to anything that might threaten the stability we need inside the city as well as out. Regrettably, that creates difficulties for commerce, but none that cannot be overcome. Okay. Why can't we go to the rest of the city? For the same reason, you need a pass to get in. Choose the blah blah blah. Okay. 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 Hmm, we are obviously not shadows or undead. What's the real reason? Perceptive of you, it is indeed a more complex issue. Neverwinter has internal difficulties as well. 
Current political and security situations demand that TSI remain the only section of the city open to outsiders. Okay. Hello. Um, didn't we, um, did we or did we not? Vince the bomber asks you to speak to someone about to know him. Okay, let's we'll see if we can. I need to acquire a pass for Finch, the bard. I'm sorry, friends, I can't allow you to vouch for another if you don't yet have passes yourselves. Perhaps once you've acquired your passes, we can discuss the possibility of but Purchasing a pass for someone else. Okay, cool. So we have this guy. Good day to you, travelers. May Torm guide your steps. Huh. Diplomacy holds you ought to see a problem in such a place. Graceful of you to mention my devotion and not my race. You are not like many. That is admirable. My monastery has sent me out into the world as a trial to learn patience and grace. I strive for both. I have come here to Neverwinter as well to aid the suffering in whatever way I can. Mm. I'd like to eat Neverwinter as well. Perhaps we could help each other. Yes, I believe you. If you require my aid, you will freely have it. Where you guide, I will follow. Okay, I will guide you over to the Vestrisley place and uh, drop you off again because I didn't mean to pick you up. I just want to make sure we have um, a cohort attached. So, uh, out of this mess. You can go and wait. Except, cool. Um, I think it's a half orc. Which I suppose would be a bit wonky for uh, normally being a paladin, but it's not relevant. Have you heard any rumors? So those walkers walked attacking the high road, someone killed them. Must have been brave or crazy. Uh, well. Let's just rest. I'd like to spend the night. 50 gold, alright. Good night then. We have a few more places we need to uh, look at. <laughs>